My clients, uh, when they hired me, they didn't want to know 70% of the executives. They wanted to know 99.999% of the executives. And they also wanted them ranked. And something that, again, many of your uh, audience members may not know is corporations rank their employees. Um, and so we would often determine the internal metrics that the companies use to rank their employees. And sometimes it was related to pay. Sometimes it was related to a bonus structure. But there was often um, a specific ranking system. And we would learn what that rank was. And so then if we could learn what employees were being paid and what their rank was, we could show our clients, hey, here's someone who is getting paid a lot and they're ranked high. You could go after that person, but you're not getting a lot of bang for your buck. But here's someone, younger person usually in their career. Look at this. They're not getting paid a lot, but look at how high their ranking is. There is somebody to poach because that individual is killing it and they're not really, the compensation hasn't quite caught up yet, right? Um, and so that information, you know, in the business, they talk about actionable, right? That's really actionable information because now you poach that rock star, that young rock star, and now that's going to really help you. Your, you and your team move up in the rankings and now you're not seventh anymore. Now you're third because you poached that person and maybe then they told one or two of their other young hot shots and then they came over, right? So those kind of things were really invaluable um, in terms of information. And, and, and again, LinkedIn maybe has 70% of executives and you can't tell who the rock stars are. And when an executive search firm interviews someone, everyone's going to say they're doing a great job, right? Everyone's going to, in the interview, say, I'm, I'm killing it and they love me, you know, but you know how many people are killing it in, on a team of 10? One or two. Well, the other thing I think people don't realize, and, and we work with a lot of executives who have no digital footprint. They're completely private online. You're not finding them on LinkedIn. And even if you do find them, they're not responding. They have an assistant and a team of people screening all of that out. So to think that you're just going to poke them on LinkedIn and send a couple messages or surf through the web and find their email address and get a hold of them, highly, highly, highly unlikely for many of these top performers inside the company. And if you can poach off a sixth or seventh best employee in that engineering department, and they can become the rock star in your department solely because they're being underpaid, then that's a huge win for that competitor. Mm -hmm. 